we will look at this second structure uh, of the system now the one we have seen where carrying capacity was involved and the affect resource adequacy so we had a positive feedback system which ended negative feedback system now uh, so let us imagine that in our in our case of the population as well as the carrying capacity we we had defined both in the same terms right population carrying capacity we had similar units right so in that sense then carrying capacity can be assumed like a stock okay. and births and total population is the stock so initially we want lot of people from the total pool to move towards the pop population and as this stock depletes then that is going to put a constraint on how much the rest of system can grow so uh, that is kind of uh, a very broad explanation so we will model it and then we can uh, look at the system better understand it let us take a very simple model of new product life cycle or new product uh, diffusion so, there are more complex models as we can maybe see later but let us uh, divide the population into just two distinct types non owners and owners you can imagine any new product like a cell phone or a cycle or watch or whatever it is uh, bags anything so there are people who doesn't have the product and people have the products and uh, for simplicity sake we'll assume no births deaths and migrations occur during this time which affects the population so in a fixed location nothing is going to change and product uh, population homogeneous interactions remain same among the population um, and people who buy it owns it indefinitely uh, so we will make that assumption also and all the population is trying to purchase that uh, same product uh, or a similar kind of products uh, so we will make that simple assumption so with that let us uh, so building this model as i told let us assume two stocks one we have non owners another we have owners so non owners become owners if they buy the product right so the buying rate we can define a simple parameter called as buying rate uh, moves up people from non owners to owners so that is the rate which affects the uh, non owners and moves them into owners the question is what affects the buying rate so let us go to the Let us define non owners, owners, by rate. You can observe what I have done here. I have taken a stock and connected it to another stock through a rate. So, as you can see here, as the buying rate increases. The non owners are going to come down. As buying rate goes up, non owners are going to come down. And as buying rate goes up, owners are going to increase. So, that is a simple causal link that has been captured by this diagram. As you can observe, there is no inflow into the non owners, right. That means non owners is fixed. What are the initial values there? Only thing it get affected is the buying rate. So, non owners should keep uh, reducing as long as the buying rate is positive. As every period, as long as it's positive buying, people buying it, so those many non-owners are going to get converted into owners. Another you can observe is, as it told in stocks, matter is conserved. So whoever non-owners gets depleted here, the same amount get increased here as owners. Okay. So matter is conserved. If five people buy it that week, so then non-owners reduces by five that week. Owners get increased by five, the same that way. So non-owners are starts with initial value because owners will also start with some initial value, and uh, as buying rate increases, non-owners are going to fall down. As buying rate increases, owners are going to increase. Simple system that we have. Now, what affects 
this buying rate. Okay, there are various uh, things, some more assumptions probably I have to list before I can ask you that question in all fairness. Okay, let us write whatever comes to your mind. Okay, uh, cost or price, hotels, huh? income. So, let us just then change it into something called as purchasing power that takes care of your income as well as the price of product etcetera. So, let us just get rid of the quality, number of non owners, and number of owners. If lot of non owners are there then buying rate should be higher, if number of non owners are low buying rate should be low. Okay, we are having marketing. There are two types of marketing, right? One is through advertisement, the other is through and the other is through reviews, reviews, advertisement, the other is uh, reviews. Which part uh, we are going to use the phrase called as uh, word of mouth. By word of mouth, we, we mean is a kind of uh, when you hear positive reviews about a product, then people are more tempted to buy it. And whatever be the advertisement, word of mouth finally will be the dominating uh, factor in selling things. Uh, advertisement can help in the initial sales beyond which word of mouth has to kick in. Now, word of mouth has been facilitated much better these days through social media. So, all your social media posts and uh, positive or all your uh, you know, thumbs ups and smileys all are counted as part of word of mouth, right. Uh, you can imagine like you know you can th think of any movie, uh, initial advertisements may make you watch it, but within the second day word of mouth kicks in, people either thrash it or they say it is good and then you go and watch it. Uh, yeah, so among them this kind of uh, dominates more than this one. Uh, and another good thing about this from the company point of view is word of mouth is free. So, as long as you get a good product and a good word out then social media and other sources will take care of the sales and you do not really need to do much advertisement. This is very expensive, this is very cheap, uh, but it can be very uh, critical and very cruel, it may not go the way you want it to go, but still uh, we want to get this out as soon as possible, the positive word of mouth, so, we have both positive and negative, let us initially worry about positive word of mouth. Okay, so to keep the model simple, we are going to only focus on uh, this and this. We'll initially focus on this, so we can come up with a very basic model. Then we can expand the model and you know always try to bring in advertisements and other things as we go along. 